How's it going everyone? Welcome back. I'm just playing some arcade so I can get the uh, Crimson Conquest for, um, fuck, Warmonger. That's what it is. Uh, so I was asked in a comment, and I had been thinking about doing this. I wanted to talk about the changes that we received on Thursday. Um, obviously they were heavy attack, damage changes, zone attack, uh, some just... Some minor light attack, but uh, you get it. It was kind of meant to be a testing grounds um, two style of update, and so someone asked what my opinion was on it so far because a lot of people are saying it's just complete crap. It's terrible. Um, so I'm trying to formulate the way I want to say it because it, it, it's hard to write down. Like I can't just make a written speech about it. So. The, the main reason I think that a lot of people are um, currently just hating it, it depends on where you're playing and uh, like who you're playing and stuff like that. So I think altogether a lot of characters received good things. For instance, I think Shaolin currently is doing good. I know that his um, triple light does take a lot of stamina still and a lot of people still aren't happy with that but i think his damage being basically similar to a lot of characters is good i do think um characters like peacekeeper though i'm not sure why they think bleed is so strong for her bleed is good with characters like nabushi but i'm seeing a lot of pk main just shaking their head wondering what's going on and to a certain extent i kind of have to agree that PK's kind of she she's not been ruined by any means but it it does seem like she's getting some bad treatment um her heavies do almost no damage um once she gets the bleed I mean yes again she does do damage when they're bleeding which is where they're getting their numbers saying well you know she she does plenty of damage yes she does do damage while the enemy bleeds she does do decent bleed damage but i think for a lot of players they they don't want the tickle effect you know because there is a certain like when i fight peacekeepers so i'm gonna talk about console v pc um a little bit in a sec when it comes to console peacekeeper even if you're about to die, she's bled you, you know, you're you're close to death. Due to how quick you can get your light attacks and stuff off, there's still a good chance that she won't be able to do anything against you. Um, and that's the main reason I see a lot of people kind of complaining right now against uh, the changes to Peacekeeper. They, they want her to be very, very uh, bleed-oriented. And... You know, I can't blame them for wanting their bleed character to... I just don't get the idea of a of a bleed character, personally. And I'm not parrying any of these things. Um, I don't get the point of having a bleed character. Um, Nabushi causes bleed, but she gets a damage increase, which makes it worth it. Peacekeeper doesn't. She gets her, you know, her light attacks don't bounce when blocked, but that's basically it. Um, so I do think some characters came off good and some characters came off poorly. I know some people have pointed out Lawbringer's um, one damage impale to the wall. Um, his light parry unblockable does one damage more than a normal heavy. And then the tap afterwards does give you a little bit more damage, but it's, it's nothing crazy. Um, it technically does do more damage now, so you don't have to delay the, uh, the heavy attack to get more damage off on a light parry, so that's at least good. Uh, so, real quick, I want to talk about why I think the changes are going to vary depending on who's playing and where they're playing is the big one. Um, so... The majority of the people I play with are on console. Um, it's just where we've been playing, and it's where we're going to continue to play. I have no issue playing on con. I don't. I'm not a fan of the way the game is currently playing, but like I said, technically I have you know no control over what they do with their game. 
I don't know why I didn't do a follow-up. Um, Warmonger seems a little bit more thought through now. Like, I had pointed out that for some reason she did more damage on her full bash than Warden did. I know his bash was more useful, but she also has, um, you know, no bounce on her light attacks. She's got armor on her heavies. She has the dodge unblockable. I'm just kind of looking at her and wondering, wh wh what were you guys thinking? That was terrible. What was I doing? Um, and I'm just kind of sitting there like, it. she... She, in a certain sense, plays similar to Warden, but I think um, she plays better for console. Um, her lights are reasonably quick. You can still parry them if you protect your opponent. Um, her heavies, you can trade with them. Um, sometimes you get knocked out of Warden's heavy because, you know, you got hit. Which, her having armor on hers is a very, very nice addition. Um, I kind of wish that Warden got something like that, because it would make me throw his heavies a little bit more if I knew I could trade. Um, so, changes, right? The changes and how they affect the game. Um, when I made my light spam and how I would fix it video, I pointed out that heavy attacks should be doing high damage because they're slow and they should be rewarding. Uh, light attacks are kind of like, you know, your typical pokes in a fighting game. They shouldn't be doing massive damage uh, due to the fact that they're relatively safe for the most part if you're playing on console. Uh, this is just console right now that I'm talking about. Um, light attacks shouldn't be doing as much damage as, you know, two to three heavies. I think that was a little little overboard. And now that light attacks are unreactable, I don't think it's you know crazy to say that um, they're very, 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 very useful right now. Because you almost just can't see them and people are having a lot of issues with them. Uh, so lowering heavy attack damage across the board, I get that was the point to make fights last longer. But I think that the main problem for console anyway is that two light attacks do more damage than a heavy. So why not just go for two light attacks? Because on console they're basically unreactable anyway. It's kind of just a guess on if you can block and parry. Um, so it kind of lends itself to promoting the light spam on console. It it uh, definitely does not... It doesn't necessarily help. And anyone that's going to say, I have no issues with light spam, I have no issues with this, because there's always someone down below that says it. I want to point out that there have been multiple, you know, PC YouTubers and crap like that that have come to the game. The main one that I enjoyed being able to see was Solid Soul. If you guys have seen him, he's pretty good. Um, but he came and he got to Grandmaster rank. And he showed the gameplay for it. And it was just sad. I mean, he pointed out when he was going through Platinum, they're all fighting the same as Grandmasters. Everyone's just throwing lights. And I don't I don't think that's where we want to be currently. I don't think it's necessarily the worst thing in the world, because the game is still technically playable. I just think it's relatively ridiculous in a certain sense to expect people... And yes, before you put your comment down below, I know it's supposed to be read-based. Yes. I know. You don't, you know, you don't have to be one of the people that constantly is trying to remind people. And the reason I want to say I get that it's supposed to be read-based, but is for the fact that there's a lot of people that are saying, I have no issue reacting, therefore it's not a problem. Listen, there are a lot of us that are, you know, getting older or we don't play very often, and we're, we're the ones having issues, okay? I look like I play a lot due to the amount of videos I post, but I would say I play For Honor maybe 
two to three times a week to finish up some orders. And I record for an hour or two. And then I get off. And I go play something else. Um, the same thing, it's not just for honor either. So I don't want you guys to think that. I mean, I do the same thing with Call of Duty. I wait until they release a new weapon. I go, I play, I enjoy the new weapon, and once I get it Damascus, I move on. Because f Call of Duty has nothing else to offer me anymore, technically. When they add a new weapon, I get it gold basically the day of in a cup in like two to three hours. So then I just move on and I have nothing better to do. So that's kind of where I'm standing on consoles, that it's kind of ridiculous to ask the community to just kind of deal with light attacks and to not have issue especially when you add in you know you have no idea how someone's reaction time is compared to somebody else someone with good reaction time can block consistently but someone that's you know a little older or has issues with reaction time could be thinking this is the worst game in the world and i i could be both of those sometimes i'm really on my game and i can react sometimes i'm just I'm just playing for fun, so I'm not trying to react. And at that point, I just don't have the reaction time for it. I, I just don't. Now, moving to PC. I've played four hours of console and four hours of PC. PC's great. It, it's, it's great. It's amazing. Um, I, I know that there's probably going to run into problems. In my first four hours, I didn't run into really any problems that I could run into, I found it to be fun. It, it, you know, it works. It works the way it's meant to work. And the logic behind this is that though it is still majorly read-based because you can still react um, reasonably well to light attacks, granted, sometimes it's a little harder, but for the most part, you can still block and uh and fight so on console with how light spam and stuff works it's hard to kind of get a read on your opponent um <clears throat> and sometimes with lag it gets even worse 100 latencies you know so on and so forth we all know about it but on pc i mean i can go up against an orochi block all their lights and when i faint realize he's always going for an option select and parry his zone i, d I don't i just that doesn't happen with me on on console i just and that's the majority of the time when I faint, people just go for a light attack in any which which direction. And sometimes you even see the people that are just like doing this and then just throw a light. They they don't they don't know where they're throwing the light. They don't even know. <laughs> um But to to kind of give the reason why I think it's working better on PC and it's that it's working reasonably well is it does prolong the fights. Heavies aren't as crazy. And the reason so console, fun fact, me and my friends had a good little chat about this. Console has issues with light attacks and how fast they are. PC has issues with the heavy attack damage. Now, console can't react to lights a lot of the time, which is why we have the issue with light attacks. So the majority of us try to block lights and parry any heavy that gets fully thrown. We'll wait to the last possible second and we'll try to parry it. Because that guarantees us a light attack. PC, people go for light parries. They don't just block which means this on on Xbox, right? That's what we do on a lot of people do on Xbox. They faint into another light attack from a different direction. And, you know, doing this, you're going to get parried. I mean, I don't think I've ever landed that successfully unless I was um in like close to grandmaster ranked. And at that point, yeah, people will go for a light parry and stuff like that and it works. Okay? Um, PC, you'll see me do this all the time. Because people go for a light parry and I hit them with the heavy attack. And it, it works. Whereas if you do this, they'll parry your light and then they get, you know, top heavy, 27 damage or whatever. I don't run into that a whole lot on console. There are people that parry lights on console, don't get me wrong. But most of those are completely and utterly read-based where, um, let's say the opponent faints and you know they normally won't throw it from the same side. 
or you could say maybe they throw it a lot from the left. Uh, so you just throw a, throw a heavy at light parry timing and then press faint just in case. So you get the parry and then you get it. But now the opponent knows that, so now they just kind of mix it up. Like The best myth mix-up that people just have issues with is going in the exact same direction because everyone changes sides and goes for a parry. If you have a light, a, um, a console player that's parrying lights, this is a just letting it fly or doing this is somehow a mix-up. It doesn't work like that on PC. So my general feel for the update is that for some uh, some characters, they got robbed. Some characters. Um, work well and better now i think shaolin is actually um better than he was his damage isn't lower than a lot of the cast um i think he's doing really well nusha has been coming up and up and up the warmonger feet changes were good uh there's there's a lot of good changes that has come but for console players it kind of feels like we still, you know, you, we still can't react to the lights, and now landing two lights nets you heavy attack damage, which is the main problem. Whereas when I play on PC, I'm having a, I'm having a good time. I, I actually don't rage on PC. I'll rage on it on Xbox after you know playing too long, but PC, I just, I just don't. It's a pleasant experience. I can do random character select on PC and not get upset that I got a particular character. Uh, so I think in terms of balance, PC is doing pretty well right now. Obviously, like I said, there's going to be some little thing or like a certain damage value or something like that that PC is going to have issues with. But for people that can only play on console, I think this is going to be hard. If you can react and block lights, um, you know, you're, you'll be fine, like usual. But if you have, you know, the older man reactions, like what I'm slowly starting to develop, either that or school and everything is destroying my brain, uh, we we have issues. We're, we're the ones that are having a lot of issues, because Kensei here on the main screen can do um, a light attack into a top heavy and then do a soft faint into a light, and that just did heavy attack damage. Or he could do just light light, and that does heavy attack damage, or... Could throw a zone faint into light that's heavy attack damage it's um it's kind of a i'm not sure i'm not sure. i know a lot of people are upset with it and i think the main issue that comes into the fold for me the majority of players are on console so why is it being balanced for pc i have a pc and i enjoy playing it on my pc but you can't you can't lie and say that everyone should just get a pc if they want to enjoy this game i think that the balancing should be more around console and i get that pc players are going to be like well that would ruin the game it just turns into a total snore and uh turtle fest i get that you know i do but you also have to think about this from other like game perspectives a ton of people have always said shooters are always better on pc that doesn't stop console players from being the majority of people that play shooters on console. And the game is normally balanced around what console players say because they have the majority say. Unless it comes with the MP5 and Call of Duty, in which case they ain't going to touch it. Uh, because, you know, fuck that. But uh, even though you got players like, you know, you know, you, you have anomaly players like Shroud that can just one-tap people from anywhere and everywhere and he's just flawless with aiming... They're not balancing around people that can do that. They're balancing around the majority. And I would say the majority of console players, based on what I've seen from community feedback, cannot react. And that is the main problem. Is that the majority of players are on console, and the majority of console players are saying that they cannot react, which means something needs to change. And, you know, you can go ahead and leave your comments saying, just get good, or adapt or you can dodge out of the second light attack it it doesn't always work it some of the latencies and stuff that you run into or input delay and stuff like it just 
it doesn't work as intended, but when I go onto PC, it works flawlessly. It, it's beautiful and it feels great. Console, in my opinion, felt perfect before the core combat update. I wouldn't say perfect. Some characters were good, some characters were bad, obviously. But the feel of combat felt very good before the core combat update. There wasn't too much light spam. You saw quite a few heavies. And then as soon as the core combat update came out, light spam became a huge thing and tons of people complained about it. And now the new changes are lowering heavy damage, giving you more incentive to throw lights on console. That's just... Someone commented on my last one. That is my quote-unquote TED Talk. But yeah, that's just my opinions real quick on how I feel the changes are. It's not going to stop me from playing on console because I know the next-gen consoles are going to, you know, have better frames, have better this, have better that. And I can, you know, buy a monitor and play on that when the new system comes out. That's not really a concern for me, personally. I'm literally waiting for the next-gen of consoles to come out to play more on console. Just for this, I am not doing 200 fucking and 260 reps essentially again i just it's too much if now if i'll make you a deal if ubisoft was willing to link accounts you know link your for honor account with xbox playstation and pc i'd be fine with that i'd play way more on pc if i had everything i had on console that's just that's a topic for a different day it would be nice to have, but I don't think they will. The game's been out too long, and I don't think they care enough. Um, but yeah, I agree with a lot of you that console is very difficult to play on right now. But I would also say that this update made PC very enjoyable. But like I said, I still play a majority of my games on console because that's where all my friends are. So I will still always be your guys' console player. Don't Don't worry about that. I'll always be posting console gameplay. It's just just kind of going downhill with uh, some of the changes. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your opinions are down below. Obviously, I know not everyone will agree, and I'm taking the community feedback and kind of examining it through my own eyes, basically, is how I design the video. I, I, I wrote down little points of what the community was mainly concerned about, and then I kind of just ranted about it. I wouldn't consider this much of a rant. I'm kind of just saying what my observations are from the first uh, day of it being out. But you guys get the idea. Um, but let me know if you guys think I completely missed the mark or if I'm relatively spot on. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Also, when you li when you leave your comments down below, let us know. Do you play Xbox, P PlayStation, PC? What, what do you play on? Um, because that way... If there's just, you know, people playing on PC down below being like, I can react to everything, shut up. Well, have you tried on console? I mean, I just think that we need to come together as a community. We need to accept our differences and just admit something needs to be done. And if there's not going to be separate balancing, console's just going to have to wait until the next gen. It's That's just how it'll be. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.